Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a past life reading for those who have Sagittarius in your south note. South note can indicate a lot of things about your past life, so we're going to poke around, guys. It is a general, so if you'd like to book a personalized reading, feel free to message me below. Now, we do have Monk and Nun, which is pretty funny when I pulled this out for you guys, because you guys are generally really loud and outspoken and can tend to be a little bit aggressive, so I'm like, huh? Wow, we have monk and nun, or or nun. So besides the obvious, some of you could have been monks or nuns, or, you know, uh, really practiced some sort of religion, or were really quiet in a past life. Because remember, a south note is past, and we're trying to progress to our north, our north note. This is what, you know, we're trying to graduate to, all right? But the fact that we have monk or nun, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you were a monk or nun. What I'm getting here, honestly, guys, more you were forced to be quiet. I don't think that in a past life you had a voice. And I don't mean a physical voice. For some of you, maybe you didn't have an actual voice. But I feel like you were not allowed to speak your truth. You were under somebody, someone's thumb or you just weren't able to really let people know how you feel. I feel like more like you were forced to be quiet. Like you couldn't have a voice. You couldn't speak up. Okay? And it really hurts you here. So I feel like it was trauma behind this with the three of swords there was a lot of trauma like you had to stay quiet you couldn't be you couldn't speak up you couldn't speak your truth so i'm getting like a heavy hurt here all right i'm not necessarily getting monk or nun if it resonates awesome but i'm getting here like i said you did not have a lot a voice you were not allowed to have a voice all right so in this lifetime with the four of cups in reverse you know it's like new approaches to old situations you're gonna speak up now in this lifetime, you guys are going to be, you're going to speak up, you're going to speak your mind, okay? Because I feel like you were very chained down, either physically or emotionally, whatever the case may be. And this is why some of you may be very outspoken and very loud and can tend to be aggressive. I know that Aries gets the rap of being kind of aggressive and, and loud, but honestly, I'm going to give that to the Sagis. I think you guys can be kind of loud and aggressive. And... You know, not throwing shade, but I'm just saying for some of you, I feel because of your south note, there was a lot of trauma. You felt very tied down. You felt like you didn't have a voice. So in this one, you're going to make up for it. Remember, this was a lesson you've learned. You've mastered to be quiet and listen and be told what to do. In this lifetime, you are going to progress to the north note. You're going to make sure you are heard. You're going to make sure. So sometimes this is why you could be extra loud, you know. And again, not throwing shade, but this is what I'm seeing and this is what I'm feeling. You're going to make sure you have a voice. Doesn't matter what anybody says. You don't care if you have to be confrontational. If you have to just let it out and scream and shout. People are going to hear you out. You're going to say what you're going to say. No apologies. You know, be very unapologetic about it. You are going to use your voice in this lifetime. All right. Now we're going to move to phobias here. And we do have the sun here, so they could be a Leo of significance, or you can have your chart. If not, that's fine. And then we do have it clarified by the um, justice in reverse and the devil in reverse here. So they could be a Libra, um, Leo, or a Capricorn. Uh, what I'm getting here, to be honest, I feel like some of you are scared to be happy. I know, it sounds kind of crazy. I feel like you're scared of happiness. Or even when you are happy, you're scared that it's going to balance it back out to like some bullshit happening to you. Like it's too good to be true. So you're like, oh my God, so something's bound to go the hell because I, I, it's too good to be true. I'm too happy. So you might feel like things have always kind of come and bit you back in the butt whenever you're happy. So in a sense, you kind of get used to sitting in shit because you're scared that something worse is going to happen. And I'm getting a lot of negative thoughts here with the devil. So I think like it gives you like a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry when you are happy because you're kind of scared that it's going to like come, come back and bite you in the butt. I do see you in this lifetime trying to work through like negative thoughts or being more open to actually being happy. But again, I feel like this is a work in progress for you because I'm still feeling you being kind of stuck in this energy, like being scared to actually really be happy. I hope that makes sense, guys. Remember, it is a general, so feel free to take what resonates with you. We do have lessons and blessings. Now, I did clarify it, and we have a deceitful woman possible. So I feel like maybe you guys felt like you were very hurt and betrayed by people in your life. Maybe this is someone who did keep you quiet, someone who kind of forced you to, you know not be able to use of your voice in a sense or speak up you might have felt very betrayed it there's no gender in tarot but you know there could have been women of significance so maybe you have a hard time there maybe now this is why you have learned lessons 
you know, um, in your life and who you can put boundaries with or when you should put boundaries with, okay? So I do see you wanting to cut certain people off of your life here, all right? Um, if you feel, as soon as you feel some kind of weird negative thing or whatever, you're like, uh, I'm putting the brakes on here, all right? Um, some of you could definitely dabble in, you know, the arts or spirituality here, even looking at this card, guys. Obviously, somebody who I feel practices the occult or witchcraft or whatever. Um, so, yeah, children could be of significance as well here. Maybe some of you didn't have the best relationship with a mothery figure or a woman figure. All right. So this is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Uh, in the South Note, uh, this is what I have for your past life. I hope it was of help. And as always, stay magical.